What's up, family? I was in the process of showing you um, guys my hair that um, I did last night. I did a shampoo condition and I um, retwisted my hair and then I did some curls. And I was trying to record it on my camera, but that stupid thing don't even hold memory well. So um, I just wanted to. Um, put this in the beginning of the video and then I put that little clip that gets cut off and then I also have an eyeshadow tutorial all on one video if you don't want to see the hair you can fast forward to the eyeshadow however you want to do it but I'm going to put the whole thing together so um yeah this is how my hair turned out let me see if I could and I'm sorry for the Blair Witch thing going on so I'm hope I hope I was able to get all of this in here um, but I will do some still photos if I have time, which I'm kind of running behind now. But um, I do show you how I got this style, and it's on my phone because my laptop died last night. But enough about that. Gotta go. Please enjoy the video. And sorry for the quality. I know it looks like uber dark in here, but if you fast forward, um, I did it from my camera, and it might look a little better. All right, family. Have a great day. Bless. Hello, it's your girl 007 Baby Kiki. This is going to be really quick because I'm running late as usual. Um, this look that I have on my eyes, if you like this look, you can continue to see the rest of the video because I do, um, I did a tutorial on that this morning. I thought I would start recording myself while I was doing my makeup since I never seem to do the look afterwards. But the purpose of this video initially is to show you um, my hair. I did shampoo, condition, and I did a roller set with some three quarter inch rods last night. And I put a lock sock on my hair. And I wasn't sure if the curls were going to hold up. But, guess what? They held up. So, um, and I have other videos that I was doing on my phone because my computer crashed yesterday. I got a virus. But, um, let me tilt this down a little bit. Uh, sorry guys. Good morning YouTube fam. Um, I've been saying that I want to do these eyeshadow videos. And what happens is I end up, I just start like doing it. And then um, I never go behind and make the video to show you how I'm going to do it. So what I started doing or what I said I was going to start doing but never did was start just recording myself in the morning time. And, um, because sometimes I don't really have a plan. I just, um, try something out. If it works, I wear it. Either way, I wear it to work because I don't have time to be doing makeup over. So that's pretty much what I'm doing this morning. Um, so the first thing I've done, the only thing I've done, oh my gosh, I got white stuff everywhere. I love it. <laughs> uh, trying to move some stuff around. Uh, sorry about that. That's a blooper and I'm not going to edit it. Um, Hold on a second. Okay. Um, so the only thing I've done was put on this. This is what I was trying to grab. Was this liquid foundation. It's 355. That's the only thing i put on. And so the first thing I'm going to do is um, use my NYX eyeshadow base. I've showed this in another video. But it's the white one. So that's the first thing that I'm going to do. And on the weekend, I did this video, but um, I don't know if you guys, well, I haven't even uploaded the other video, but my computer kind of crashed on me. I kind of got a, a virus on it, so I actually ended up cleaning everything off, like the whole hard drive. I was able to get, turn this a little bit more, I was able to get some of my um, pictures and videos but not all of them but you know what it's okay you know what can you do so yeah and this is the kind of brush I'm using I don't know if this brush is what it's supposed to be used for but I only do you know what I taught myself to do so I'm just putting my eyeshadow base on and I have on a gray shirt and some blue jeans and um I have on, well I'm not wearing it initially that I was going to wear, I was going to wear this skirt, but it's a little cool outside because I did shampoo my hair and retwist it and I kind of got um, a little bit of a, what they call it back in the old days, a head cold, I kind of got a little bit of a cold from it, 
So I decided since it's like 40 something degrees outside, maybe 50 something, that I wouldn't wear it. And I feel like it's something in my eye. Um, because I want it to cover up a little bit more. I gotta get used to this setup. So, it feels like something's in my eye, so I just wanted to look with a closer mirror. Okay, so, um, trying to think. I just put, um, maybe some white in the middle and maybe do some blue. And I want to maybe do some gold underneath to pull in the gold from the bracelets. And, I don't know. I just be putting stuff together, y'all. I'm not even going to lie to you. So, I know everybody does stuff differently, but I'm going to put on, i got to turn on this water. Because when I use my loose powder, and I want um, a nice color, like a, a little more definition, I apply it wet. This particular um, shadow can be applied dry, but so I'm looking for my brush. I hate to be looking down in the camera. But I like to, um, I like to apply it wet. And I washed my brushes last week because they needed it big time. So this is the brush I'm going to be using. It's kind of fine. But it'll get in the corner good for me. So I'm going to wet my brush. And then I'm just going to tap on the inside of this. this just to pick up some of the white. And you know what? This white can act as my silver. Since I have on um, the tricolor. Gold, silver, and bronze. So I hope this water in the background is not bothering you if you can hear it. So I do apologize. Okay. And that is about as far as I want to get with that because it's not really silver, but um, it will help open up my eyes a little bit. And I'm sure I'm going to be running behind again today. Lately, I can't seem to be on time. I mean, I get to work on time, but I've been pushing it lately. Okay. So, uh, hopefully this is coming out good on the camera but and I'm gonna leave that out because I may need to use it again later to um got white stuff all over my shirt to make it come back alive a little bit so I have this grayish color I think I'm gonna go ahead and use now it's like a this is out of my coastal scents palette I'm gonna show you the two colors I'm gonna use so I'm gonna use um, this bluish gray color here and then I'm gonna use this blue here on the outside okay so let's see so I'm just gonna use a regular brush nothing special about this one to apply the and you know what's good about this bluish gray color that I'm putting in the middle it has some flecks of gold in it which would be good when I put the gold underneath the brow So that's all I'm going to do. Just put it in this middle section. Gosh, that almost looks gold. Unless I had some um, residue from the previous shadow on this album brush. But I didn't think I had... Did I use this? Sure, I couldn't tell you. Sometimes I can't even remember. But... I just hope for the best. So, 
not sure how that's coming out on camera but I've placed that color in the middle and I'm going to go purchase me some um, wedges because I think I need to start using those instead of tissue Hold on. I've never used the wedges but um, I'm gonna start using them I'm gonna go purchase some I don't know during the week it's hard for me to get to the store and I should have thought about that this weekend but um I'm just gonna tap here for those who don't have wedges and you do like me and just use tissue I just take a piece and fold it up real small and that's how I keep my lines and stuff clean but I'm definitely gonna go purchase some wedges because I think I would really benefit from them okay now on to my corner color and I'm sorry if I'm talking too much but um, that's kind of how I do it in the morning time I just kind of like play around with colors and I'm looking for my angle brush I have an angle brush that I like to use on the corners that hmm, I can't find so let me look for a second alternative hmm let's see no I can't can't find it blast it I really need it okay so and it's a shame I'm dragging out this video all because I can't find a freaking brush so I am so sorry for that so I tell you what we're just gonna use um this is an angle brush kind of angle but this really isn't the one I want to use because the other one is so much better it must be another bathroom but I'm not going to walk over that because uh, we're already taking up too much time okay so I'm going to use that blue that I showed you and I'm going to use it on the corners and then I'm going to drag it over a little bit how that's looking and I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side you know, this brush is horrible compared to the other one but you got to work with what you got now if I wasn't recording I probably would have went over there and got it but we're gonna work with it This lighting in here sucks, y'all. Because I don't think this is going to come out on the camera good. If it don't come out on the camera good, I might not even upload it. Unless somebody asks me. And then my full explanation why I would be on here why I didn't upload it the first time. Okay. So, next thing I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to put the gold color up underneath my brown now. So, when I put in the brown color in the middle to blend it, um, it will already be there. So this is my last year Christmas MAC palette. I think I've showed this before. And as you can see, it is definitely used. And um, I'm going to use, it looks green, this one in the middle, bottom middle. But it does give off a nice goldish shimmer. So I do have a flat brush, like this one, that I'll be using for that. There is a brush in here I could use, but um, it's kind of short. So I'll just use this one. And I'm just going to put this on kind of heavy up underneath the brown because when I put on um, my brown, it's going to kind of um, drown it out a little bit. So I'm going kind of heavy on, up underneath. Now this um, eyeshadow base that I'm using, they do have a color. Um, it comes in nude and it comes in white. There could be other colors, but those are the only two I know of. And I've never used the nude. I've only ever used the white one. so Because the white gives more of a pop. And then I'm just going to flip the other side of this brush over to use. And then there's a brown, there's a bronzy color in the middle. I mean at the bottom where my pinky is. I'm going to use that in the middle. 
instead of a darker color. I normally put like a darker brown, but I'm just going to put it right here. And I'm just going to look crazy at first. But it always looks crazy. And then I'm going to um, use my blending brush and pray for the best. Because I've never done these colors before. It don't look too bad. It look, kind of look crazy. kind of like a lot of colors to me right now. So I'm, I'm hoping it's going to look kind of decent. I have no concept this time. I need to be watching the time. Okay. I'm mumbling. Blending brush. I have a big brush. Hopefully I can find that one. Yeah. This brush is, this is like a, you know, fluffy brush. This is my all-purpose blending brush. So I'm just going to do it my windshield wiper movement and try to blend all of these colors together. That's when I say I pray for the best. And the color in the middle that I use, I try to blend it up. That's why I put it on kind of heavy, the one under the brow, so it doesn't fade it out. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. My windshield wiper movement and then bringing the color up into that color underneath the brow. I'm going to try to blend it out. Oh, it's not too bad. So, I'm kind of liking how this is turning out. Okay. Um, next thing I'm going to do is take this liner that I do not like. No, I'm not going to do that. Next thing I'm going to do is use my Maybelline Mineral Powder. And I'm going to go ahead and um, put that over my face before I put on my eyeliner. So, I just dab it in like a couple spots. And then I just kind of blend it in circular motions underneath the eyes. I kind of sweep up. I did when I put on that liquid in foundation. I you know what I should have showed you that. I barely. I don't even like put it in my hand. I just like go around the um the tip of the container and I tap into the um the top because I don't like to have a lot of that on my face because I don't want to look too um, washed out I guess so and I tend to use a little mineral, extra mineral powder underneath my eyes I do have bronzer I could use but I just use a little extra mineral powder sometimes because I don't really feel like doing that many layers okay so That's that. That's done. It doesn't take long. Now I'm going to use my liquid liner. But before I use my liquid liner, I'm just going to take that same piece of tissue and I'm just going to go underneath my eyes to the side to make sure I don't have any hanging under. I promise y'all I'm going to get me a wedge. I can promise you that. Because I definitely need to get one. But in the meantime, this is what I'm going to do. So, I'm not going to need to use that white again. I thought I was going to need to use it again in the um, creases, but it did okay. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is use this liquid liner I got off Ulta.com. I showed this in another video on the haul that I got from them. But I'm going to go ahead and put that on. I got to, let me see if I can make this can because I got to kind of go in the mirror a little bit. And I try to go as close to the lash line as possible. One side, one eye down, one to go, 
and I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. Again, as close to the lash line as possible. And I really do not like this liner. I would not recommend this Essence liner to anybody. Because it smudges. And um, so there's my eyes. <laughs> now I want to put some underneath. Yeah, I'll go ahead and put a little bit underneath. I don't always put liner underneath. Because sometimes it can get sloppy. And it's this particular one I don't like. Okay, let me move quick. Last thing I need to do, well one of the last things I need to do is put on some mascara. This is Essence Mascara that I showed you in a Sephora line. I would not recommend this either, but since I spent my money on it, I want to use it. I'm just very careful with it because it kind of smudges. And now I feel like I'm rushing it. I am so sorry. But that's me running my big mouth. really like how this turned out and the next video I wanted to do was actually show you my the results of my um lip gloss the results of my roller set that I did last night but um I'll just go ahead and tie that into this video Well, you know what? No, I won't. I will and I won't. I'm going to stop this video and then I'll go record another one. And then attach the bow. And I'll just put this one at the end. And voila! I'm done. See you in the next video, family. Bless.